So if you have been trying to put Neo stock price information into a Google Sheet and it's not working, I have the solution for you right now. I want to show you how the custom formula works and uh, be able to get some of these prices of popular Neo stocks, or basically all Neo stocks, into Google Finance spreadsheets. So for example, if you're trying to pick on a couple like AbbVie or PayPal, the Neo listing of both of those and you want to get these prices in, I'm going to show you what's up. Uh, this is changing all the time. We're going to be using an import XML formula, and the source website right now that I want to show you might stop working sometime in the future, but for now it's working. Uh, so let's do two examples here. We got Avvi and we got PayPal. So we're going to start it. We're going to type equals import XML. We're going to have our brackets like this, and inside we're going to have two sets of quotations. Um, let's see if I can show you here. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have already pressed enter. Um, I'm trying to show you. There we go. Uh, we got the URL and the XPath query, and we're not going to bother with locale. If you're interested, you can like scroll around in here, but if you're just trying to get to the point, which I am not, then, then follow me. Um, so the source website that we're going to use is this wonderful little website we got here called CEO.ca. Um, these guys are so generous to not disguise their information so hard for us to not grab it. And so we're going to take abv, we don't want abv.us, we want abv.neo. So uh, if you come to the website and you're on the wrong listing, search here. And we're going to search the ticker that we're looking for. And we're going to try to find the Neo version here. It's a CDR. And make sure that you're going after the Neo listing here. It's a wildly different price than the American version. Um, so all we do is we're going to grab this. Once we're on the page, we're going to grab the URL. So copy. In here, we're going to come here and paste. And in the second set of quotations for the XPath query, all you do is come here, right click on the price, real time price, and uh, go inspect. You're going to need to do this in Google Chrome. I don't think this works in other browsers. Anyways, it's going to pre select this thing here. You're going to see 2160. That is the value we're looking for. Uh, right click this highlighted part, come down here, copy, and we're going to copy the full XPath and then drop back into our spreadsheet and in that second set of quotations we're going to paste it and boom 21.6 that is the value pulling straight off of this website and so now you can feel like a super cool hacker or something like that that you've just scraped a website and brought in the price now um, if you want to get a different ticker we can just drag this down and uh, obviously that's the same price for AbV because it's typed in here in both. So what we can do is we can just delete that part of the URL and just type in the ticker that you're looking for that's on the Neo Exchange. And it's going to give you a number as well. Now if you're doing this, I highly, highly, highly recommend going and checking to make sure that these are right. So 466, go find the listing for the, 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 the Neo stock. And here it is, 466. So we've done it correctly. Now if you want to get even more fancy, uh, let's pick a cell here, let's highlight it, and we want to be able to uh, pull in the Neo price of whatever is in that cell. So right now we're pulling from nowhere actually, we've just typed in a static formula. Uh, so delete the reference, or delete the ticker here, the, the four letter ticker, or however many letters it happens to be, uh, from inside that quotation. Move outside the quotation, hit the ampersand button, and then click on the cell that we're going to be putting the ticker in. And we're going to see here it's a different color. It's going to be a black ampersand and then like probably an orange reference to the cell you're looking at. And then once that's done, hit enter. But we can type anything into this cell now to clear that error. So let's type in A, B, B, V and it's gonna pull up the correct price. Again, highly recommend checking that that is actually the right price. We got 21.59 in Google or Yahoo, whatever that is, and 21.60, so they've rounded by a cent, but I'm pretty sure it's close enough for our purposes. Um, and then here we could also type in PayPal, and it's gonna auto-update. This is super powerful if you're trying to create a spreadsheet that uses live information of Neo prices. We could put in something else here like, uh, MindMed, I think that's another one, 515, and let's see if we can pull that up with MindMed.neo, and here we see 515, so super powerful. This gives you access to, as far as I know, all Neo stocks, or I guess whatever is listed on the COEO.ca website, but that should be pretty fantastic for you in your pursuit of trying to get stuff into Google Finance. Now, um, if you are familiar with my channel and you're using the stock tracker 
that I've created, uh, then you can also use this. It, it had been set up previously to uh, to work with Neo, but the source website that's in the template that you downloaded uh, is no longer working because it's not this one. Um, and so if all of your Neo stocks are broken in this one, it's no problem. You can go ahead and type in a ticker into your portfolio. Let's pick on PayPal again. It's going to bring up the name uh, of almost every, or I'd say most stocks automatically, because that's already built into the sheet. But the current price is going to be wrong. So what we would do is we would just kind of grab that formula. Uh, let's just make it easy and grab the one that already has PayPal typed into it. And then uh, you can just replace this. So delete the current price and uh, paste in the new one. And if you had some transaction history, like I'm just going to make up some, some fake ones right now. Let's say that we had a uh, TSE, sorry, not TSE, Neo PayPal on some date, August 1, 23, and we bought two shares at a price of $4 in no transaction fees in Canadian. And those are O's, not zeros. Uh, just trying to get something in here. So then you would come back and in your portfolio, where did it go? Uh, now you would be seeing some information here that is. Um, relevant to your particular situation. So it works in the Alpine Dividends uh, stock template uh, and also in general, if you're just trying to get it into a spreadsheet, it works with these basic formulas. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If that helped, do make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.